lovelies. Welcome to Lovely Yarns. Today I thought it would be fun to do a shop tour so you could see what it's like when you come into our store. So we are located in the historic neighborhood of Hamden in Baltimore City. And here we go. Hello, lovelies. Explosion of rainbows everywhere. Love it. Rainbow explosion sounds. <laughs> so when you come in, we have immediately to our right, this is our yarn tasting wall with all the fun things and fibers to explore over here. We talked a lot about these items when we had Linda on our show. Um, and actually now we've expanded, we just got some quilting cottons in to make face masks. So a lot of this, um, actually all of this was Linda's. And so we are selling it for $5 a piece. And for that five bucks, you get almost an entire yard. Um, Cause I think she cut out like a little square of each one, of course. So that's what that all is. And then over here we have some fun notions and accessories. We've got wrist rulers. We have some extra sparkle yarn, hooray sparkles. Uh, we have some cute snips nail tape measures. We have lanolin, eucalyn, which is a uh, really nice, um, really nice wool wash and it's very delicate. So good for all your hand knits and it's a no rinse. And then it has really cute snips. And then we have some more sparkle funky stuff. This Marlene from Lang. So we have that. And then on Sorry, trying not to make everybody seasick. On our tabletop is the ball winder. We have a fancy electric one and Swift. And of course, we've got shawl pins and accessories from Lickin' Flames, Cynthia Crane uh, from Favor Valley. We have Nirvana check glass buttons, which are really cool. I love these moon faces. Aren't they cool? I think they're so cool. Um, so, and then of course a million buttons. Love buttons. It's so easy to go overboard and go crazy with buttons. But you know, you gotta have something for everybody's sweater, right? So there we have it. Buttons, loads of buttons. Lots of pretty yarns, the cool fabrics, uh, the newest edition of Handwoven Magazine, of course. Uh, and then we've got some special yarns on our rounder. We've got some bamboo pop. Uh, Hand-dyed Vera, which is a silk and linen blend from our friends at Anzula. We've got some sock yarns at the bottom. Speaking of sock, this is our great wall of sock. This is uh, all most of our fingering and lace weight yarns are here. A lot of these are hand dyes. Many of them are dyed by local hand dyers, which is just lovely. You might see labels from some of your favorites. And then we've got this super soft road to China. Oh my goodness, so soft. And then I made this, it's a cowl from the Road to China yarn, which is crazy soft. Road to China is from the Fiber Company and it is cashmere, camel, alpaca, and silk. So you can imagine how soft and smushy it is. It is like knitting with kittens. I'm telling you, it's like ridiculously soft. Chunky bee wool, we have linen, we have hemp, we've got socks in a box, um, fixation, more socks, this furlicious stuff. This is cool, this funky faux fur. This makes like great fuzzy, fluffy edges on things like brims of hats, the cuffs on uh, wristers or um, you know, the fingerless gloves, like to put like a fluffy cuff on it would be kind of cool. Some more sock weight, some lace. We have some fingering weight, baby love, good for babies. We have some mohair silk. And then we have some sale items here. You can find sale items in the sweet deals section of our website, which is lovelyyarns.com. And then we've got more summer cottons. Cottons currently are on sale for 30% off, as are all linens and hemp's because I want to make some room for our fall and winter yarns, which will be coming in soon, I am excited to say. And then we have some fiber for felting or spinning, 
Uh, there's a funky hexagonal frame loom for tapestry weaving, a large rectangular frame loom, frame loom for tapestry weaving. We've got some jewelry over here. This is a hand crocheted piece by our friend Bonnie, and this is using all different freshwater pearls. Here are some necklaces by Mr. Lovely. These are vintage pen nibs that he's encased in resin with playing card backs. Pretty cool, huh? So my husband made those. Uh, he also edits our videos. <laughs> so plug for Dave. There we go. Um, we've got books. We've got chenille for weaving. There's more jewelry over here. So we have these really cool leather pieces by my friend Sam, who is a leather worker, and then also she's a costume designer. This piece here is especially cool. This is a steampunk frozen inspired leather choker. How cool is that? Uh, laser cut and hand painted. Totally dig it. And then we've got the bucket of cuffs. We have that earrings. We have an octopus wrist cuff with chains. Awesome. More pieces by Bonnie. And then let's head over here. We've got, of course, our Tigress limited edition hand dyed matching sock kits. We are going to be getting in some zebra stripe sock kits from Earth Yarns soon, so keep an eye out for those. And I also just got in these really cool crochet hook kits from um, Haya Haya, who carry Nirvana stuff. So these are the Haya Haya hooks inside a Nirvana pouch, which is made by Della Q. That's a lot of, lot of names, a lot of vendors. Uh, but basically, so this red and white flower thing is the outside, that's the elastic, and then the black is the inside. We have them in many colors, like the purple is really nice. Look at that. So the outside of your patch of your pouch will be the floral pattern and you secure it with the rubber bandy bit. But it's got like a bunch of different hooks inside, like everything you need, like all the most popular sizes. And then there's a space, there's empty spaces for extra hooks as well. There's some fancy rosewood hooks, um, magazines, beads, beads, beads. Of course, I need to change my July, my July calendar to a September calendar, but there's all beads. And then over here we have more beads. So this is funky. These beads come from um, the Nirvana button and bead people. And I thought they were cool because sometimes you want to put beads on thicker yarn. So these beads have a bigger hole in the center and they're really pretty. And then, so all, so from here to approximately here, these will work on thicker yarns up through worsted weight. But then these here have a real skinny hole. So these would be for fingering and lace weight or if you just wanna do bog standard beading. Um, but they are so pretty, I had to get them. I thought they were really cool. And they're all kind of like, five to eleven dollars and change per type of per thing well this one's a little more expensive but um it's for the this amount of beads but they're cool so and they're check glass and they're like hand painted and all that jazz but they look so cool like look at those i think they look seriously awesome then below we've got some yarn from our friend lisa westra at feederbrook farm all of Lisa's yarns that look like this, this marl look, they all do a gradient. And then her solids have sparkle in them. Hello, hello sparkle. These are all DK weight yarns. And this has a little bit of the sparkle in too. I love these. Our chunky weight is over here along with a hand dyed sari silk ribbon. And then we have some special items up top. And then we have a shawl that I made and designed. Uh, I believe you can get the pattern on Ravelry. It is the Sunflower Shawl. And it is one hank of Sari Silk Ribbon and one hank of hand dyed organic cotton. So and this is organic cotton from Patty Subic at Great Adirondack Yarn Company. We have more of her hand dyed cottons over here. And I should remind you again, all of these cottons, yes, they are hand dyed. Also, they are currently 30% off the regular price. So look how pretty. I love this Nantucket blue. This is one of my favorite colorways. Look how pretty that is. 
and uh, we have it in this awesome twinkle. Like it's like magic. This is like magic yarn, like mermaids. This is cool because this is um, a strand of this homespun cotton held together, well applied and dyed together with some rayon metallic. And I just love how it looks. Look at that, let's get a close look. So pretty. Oh my goodness, I like want it on everything. <laughs> Um, but this is what the homespun cotton looks like on its own. There's some of this thick and thin action going on. It's lovely stuff. And then behind us, we have some weaving cottons in the cones up here. Oh, and then this is what these beads look like. The big fat beads when they are knitted onto worsted weight. And this is Chestari Tradition Collection. It's uh, this, the Spice Heathers, this stuff down here gonna back up. This is all our worsted weight yarns are over here. So lots of solid colors. We do lots of garments out of worsted weight. More blankets, baby blankets, uh, good workhorse yarn kind of stuff. And then we have some gorgeous hand dyes from Dream and Color. This cubby is some local hand dyes. Uh, the funky sage color at the bottom is Rita May. And then this is Anzula and then some Sweet Georgia. This is breed specific. This is 100% Shetland wool from West Yorkshire Spinners. Most of the solid colors, this is uh, Universal Yarns Deluxe Worsted here, here, and here, which is 100% Peruvian Highland wool. It's really good workhorse wool. It's soft, makes great sweaters. Um, I like it. I've made a bunch of stuff out of it. And then these cubbies down here, this is Barocco Vintage which is a wool acrylic blend. So it has a softer feel uh, to the deluxe worsted and you can check it in the washer and dryer and it won't felt. Uh, this is Jewel Spun, which is an Aran weight from Sardar. And those are like double mega big hanks. You have 576 yards for like 20 bucks. And it's all acrylic, but it's soft, lovely. P the people really seem to enjoy working with it. Uh, great for sweaters, baby stuff, you name it. Cause again, you can check it in the washer and the dryer. And then packing up here, this is all DK. So all DK. This is Color Burst from Universal. This is similar to the acrylic. This is a wool acrylic blend and it does a gradient and those are double hanks. So it's 660 yards per cake and they're like 28 bucks. And then this is Prairie Spun DK, here, 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 four, five, from um, Brown Sheep Company. This is Eco Hemp. So that's Peruvian Highland wool with hemp. So I've got some uh, fountain pen ink on my finger. And then these are some hand dyed DKs. This here is Lore, L O R E, from Viber Company. And this is Kid Romney. So this is lamb's wool from Kent in England. And I love this. It just wants to be sweaters like all day long. It just really wants to be sweaters. So pretty. Yeah, that's the my hand shadow. <laughs> uh, this is some really nice hand spun from our friend Annalise Foster. And her studio is called Sungyun Studios. And she is here in Baltimore City. She's near the train station. So this is her hand spun kid mohair a single ply and it's lovely this these are all undyed yarns uh, this piece of gloriousness I love this this is tail spun tease water locks with some Lincoln long wool and also with some silk look at that look how pretty it is locks are so beautiful again this would be really lovely on the edges of things and these tail spun locks uh, she's hand processed and prepped and spun all of these. So the locks are gonna be a little more expensive than just the plain single ply, like how this is Polworth. This is gonna be more, this is gonna be less expensive than the locks because it's just, takes a little more time and effort to prep all these and to spin them. So you get to have fun and experience all these beautiful long locks. Isn't that cool? I love these. I think they're great. So, and this is all of Annalise's beautiful, natural hand spun yarns. And I'm so glad that we have them here. 
Then moving over here, this is all sport weight Shirsty Cat, who's up in Philadelphia. This is new. This is a new yarn. This is Bo Peep Pure. And I have to tell you, it is so soft and smushy. And look, you get great stitch definition, nice full plump stitches. And the Bo Peep is 100% Falkland wool. And Falkland sheep are known for their beautiful, beautiful fleeces. And it is so soft and smushy. And this is everything that you want for your baby. So it does, the wool has not been plasticized. It's not been treated with any harsh chemicals. And it's just lovely to knit with. You can machine wash cold on delicate. Uh, Francis, just uh, Francis, who is the shepherd at Chastar, he says, well, think of it this way. Sheep stand out in the rain. Rain is cold. Do sheep felt? No. Do sheep shrink in the rain? Of course they don't. So you can put your wool in the wash on cool and delicate. Just uh, careful that it doesn't agitate too much or else it will felt. But this is just so lovely and it's just gorgeous and it's super soft and smushy and we have it in this pretty green jane who works with me she made this super sweet baby sweater look how cute that is with the little pearl buttons so and this sweater let's just get a look at the tag this is the lazy daisy all-in-one cardigan so it's a top-down little yoke sweater with some eyelet detail around the yoke and look how sweet that is and i think this is just the teeniest tiniest size uh, jane did this as one hank uh, she made little three quarter length sleeves to get all you know so she wouldn't run out of yarn so if you're making this for your own baby or a friend's baby or family baby you probably want at least two skeins uh, each one of these hanks is 50 grams but they're only 12 bucks so it comes in the pink, green, blue, and purple, and then also in the more neutral tones over here, including this pretty golden mustard color. This is some Sweet Georgia. Here we have Unique Cottons. Look at all these. And so these are $22 right now, uh, but they are also 30% off of that $22. So doing some quick math, that comes out to 15 bucks and some change. So not a bad deal. And this is what we have left. So. We want to sell through to make room for fall goodies. And then here's the rest of our DK and Sport. These are some, this is a new base from Bria at Ridiculous Yarns. Uh, we had a trunk show with her earlier this summer. So, and this is her Ruby DK. It's a luxury base. And this is alpaca, silk, and cashmere. This is her interstellar colorway. And this stuff is really, really soft. Of course it's soft. It's alpaca and cashmere. How could it not be soft? Uh, and also we have it in butterfly effect. Lovely. And then all of these yarns are available for purchase on our website, lovelyyarns.com forward slash shop. Uh, let's see. So this is Cascade Hampton, uh, which is a cotton linen blend. And then this is Sierra yarns at the bottom. And then Ultra Pima from Cascade on top of it. This is a door from Universal, which is a really good workhorse DK. We use this for lots of baby things. One, two, three, four, five. And then this is their Kingston Tweed, also at Universal. And then down here we have, this is Wensleydale. Wensleydale is a type of sheep and it has long curly locks like we saw on Annalise's hand spun. So this will give you a lovely halo pretty stitch definition and also it will be like almost zero pilling because of the longer staple of the wool. Merino, though it is soft, has a shorter staple, staple wool and much more likely to pill than something like Wensleydale, Blueface Lester, um, Tease Water, something like that. So this is like really lovely. Look how pretty that is. And the colors are insane. Look how pretty those jewel tones are. So these are Wensleydale gems. The colorways are named after different gemstones. And then, whoops, sorry, that's my finger. And then next to here, we have some pretty yarns from our friends at the Alpaca Yarn Company. They are a woman-run company in York, PA. They're owned by Beth Lutz. And then Heather McVickers is the dyer. Make sure that I have that right. Heather Sickle Brown, sorry, is the dyer. 
And look at these pretty colors. So this is out of blue comes green and stone cold crazy. There we go. And Symmetry is a wool alpaca blend. It's a 50-50 and this is a DK weight. And you see it does, it's got some tonal action going on, a little bit of light and dark. Knits up really soft. Uh, also, we have from them some of their pack of paints. So this is 100% al alpaca. This is a hand paint. And this is a DK weight. And we have this in a few different colorways as well. Okay, and then of course we've got a million books, $2 a book. The books are not listed on our website. And then back here we've got needles, hooks, notions, some tools, magazines, some pre-loved needles, and then we have Charm City Yarn Crawl Totes. We have project bags from Rock Solid. Uh, Rock Solid Design is in Pennsylvania. And then this is um, our new spinning corner. So this is where we had our Kim show. Uh, we've got fiber from OPOM, who is Severn, Maryland. We have undyed Icelandic roving from Third Way Farm here in Maryland. And they're in two ounce balls and 10 bucks an ounce, so each bag of these is $20. A uh, copy of Spinoff, some Erie Silk uh, cotton poonies, which are undyed. So this is, if you want to spin some cotton, here you are. A little Notion bag. Uh, we've got our drop spindles. We have some undyed mulberry silk. And then also we have roving from Kim. Sorry, not roving, it's combed top from Kim. And then we also have some hand dyed fiber from Tiny Owl, who lives near the store in Medfield, which is like the next neighborhood over from us. And some beautiful choices from Sweet Georgia. And that pretty much covers it. When it's not COVID time, back here is where magic happens, where everybody sits and hangs out. Um, unfortunately, now it is our mailing center. <laughs> Oh, also, I have a couple of interchangeable needle cases from Rock Solid Design. And of course, our mailers, our Learn to Crochet and Learn to Knit kits. And this is a little baggie full of buttons. But that is pretty much it. Upstairs, we have classroom space, which currently is a mess. So this is what we have, folks. Thank you for watching. Let's do one quick walkthrough again. You can sort of see everything, get a feel for it here at Lovely Yarns. Um, you know, we just miss seeing everybody in person all the time. This has been such a weird adjustment doing business and having our store and creating community and maintaining our community while we are all sort of apart together, you know? So this is how it is. So I guess we're just gonna have to power through. We can do it. The knitting, the crochet, the spinning, the weaving, all the fiber arts, it will save us. It'll help keep us sane. So I hope you enjoy our little shop tour today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And happy stitching!